I think you know you're officially old when you've spent more time out of school than you were in school. This year, 2020, is the year that I've been 13 years out of school, which means I cross over that uh, threshold. So, and you know, I was, at this time, usually we were having high school reunions, all that kind of stuff, which is obviously not happening this year due to COVID. But it is an interesting point be, to have a look back at those you did go to school with, and you can really start to see the gaps between those who did invest, those who did invest in themselves, and those who haven't. Uh, you didn't really notice it when you're 18, 19, 20, 21, the gaps were so small, but now once you know, I'm 31 now, you really start to notice the difference. And there are those in my high school, or high schools, I went to two different high schools, that you know, some of them sadly, they haven't changed since they were 18. And I mean that in an absolutely negative way. You know, some of them are still living at home, they haven't invested, they haven't, got any, you know, haven't bought a house, haven't got this or that, they haven't invested in themselves, they haven't gone anywhere, which is really sad. But then there are others who have invested in their career, you know, they, they're lawyers, they're high in politics, they run businesses, they're teachers, they're nurses, they've really invested in them themselves, you know, they've invested in their income, they've, you know, got a house, they've got investments, and the non-financial things as well. They've got family, they've had great holidays, you know, they're happy, all this kind of stuff. You really start to notice the difference now between those who have invested in themselves and those who don't. So if you're watching this and you are 21, you've got to invest in yourself. You might not see it yet, but you will see it in 10 years time, five, 10 years time, the difference between taking a path where you invest in yourself and those who haven't. And if you are 30 and you've realized, oh crap, I'm 30, I've got nothing to show for the last 10 years of work, you take action now because the last thing you want to do is get to 40 and go, oh, I still haven't taken action. I'm now 20 years behind rather than 10 years behind. So yeah, you can learn a lot from high school reunions.